1007 solved in contact. Shown is the elevation of right cone A and hemisphere B, which are in contact with each other. Also shown is the position of a point P in the front of the cone. Draw the elevation and plan of the solids in contact. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw the cone A in elevation and plan. So I can come down a certain distance from my x, y, and I'm just going to draw the center of my cone here. And I know the radius of my cone is going to be 40. going to be 80 mil height. That's the elevation of my cone. I'm also going to come in for point P. It's in 16 mil. I also know P is going to be on the edge of my cone. I'm also told it's on the front of the cone. So, but there's point P. And I can also draw in this hemisphere here. So I know it's 40 mil height, so I measure up 40. There's 40 mil. And I know the center is drawn from that point there. I'm going to get my compass in and draw in my hemisphere. That there is B. There is A. That's my hemisphere and it's located in its final position. So the first thing I have to do, I look at my quick sketch here. What I have now is I have the hemisphere here in its final position. I need to locate it down in plan. So I'm going to have to draw a ghost hemisphere out to the edge of the cone, bring it down to plan and roll it into its final position. So the first thing I can do is I can bring down the center for my hemisphere. So I know my center of this hemisphere is definitely along that line. And I'm going to draw a ghost hemisphere here out to the side. So I'm going to bisect the angle here at the cone. So what I've got then, then this here is the center of my hemis ghost hemisphere. And I can draw in the ghost hemisphere as well. This is light lines as well, just for construction. So that there is my ghost hemisphere there. Next thing I can do then is I can bring down the center of the ghost hemisphere. And now I can roll it around into position. So 
So that there is my center of my sphere. And this here is going to be a circle implant. So I take the radius. And this is going to be. So that there is the plan of that hemisphere there. To get the point of contact then between the hemisphere and the cone, I get my set skirt and I go at right angles to the edge of the cone. That'll give me my point of contact. I need then need to bring that down to my elevation and rotate that in plan as well. So my point of contact is along this red line here. Join a line between the two centers. That there is the point of contact between the hemisphere and the cone. So I bring it back up then to elevation. And that there is the point of contact. So that's the first part of the question complete.